Stepping out for a spacewalk at the space station, the first asteroid flyby for our Lucy spacecraft, and signing up for safe and peaceful space exploration. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. NASA astronauts Jasmine Mobelli and Laurel O'Hara conducted a November 1st spacewalk outside the International Space Station. During the outing, they worked on some hardware that enables the station's solar arrays to rotate properly as they track the sun. This was the first spacewalk for both Mobelli and O'Hara. During a November 1st ceremony at the Dutch ambassador's residence in Washington, the Kingdom of the Netherlands became the 31st country to sign the Artemis Accords. The Artemis Accords established a practical set of principles to guide space exploration cooperation among nations, including those participating in NASA's Artemis program. Our Lucy spacecraft got a surprise when it flew by asteroid Dinkinesh on November 1st. The first of multiple asteroids Lucy will visit on its 12-year voyage. Images captured by Lucy revealed that Dinkinesh is not just a single asteroid, as we thought, but a binary pair. The primary aim of the Lucy mission is to survey the Jupiter-Trojan asteroids, a never-before-explored population of small bodies that orbit the Sun in two swarms that lead and follow Jupiter in its orbit. Data collected by the Surface Water and Ocean Topography, or SWAT satellite, during its first full 21-day science orbit was used to compile this animation of global sea surface heights. SWAT is measuring the height of nearly all water on Earth's surface, providing one of the most detailed, comprehensive views yet of the planet's oceans, freshwater lakes, and rivers. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.